Hello model railroaders, it's John back with the 16 by 8 river layout, but we're working on uh, John's railroad um, 3D printing stuff. So I haven't actually done a whole lot with the railroad itself lately. Um, I, I do go in there and tinker with it from time to time. I don't do a whole lot this time of year as I am outside, but actually we've had a lot of rain lately in the Midwest here, so it's been, uh, I've, I've had a fair amount of time inside, um, so I just kind of, uh, just kind of been uh, staying inside, working on some of this stuff. I haven't gone back to the layout. I did run them the other day just for fun, uh, just to turn them on for a little bit and see what track was dirty and what track was not, but other than that, uh, I've been working pretty rapidly and uh, strong on this uh, 3D printing stuff. Uh, as you know, if you follow my channel, I got the 3D printer probably, well, it's been about two months now since I started, but this particular one I've had for about five weeks. So I kind of really been getting into it a lot. I've got a ton of stuff in baggies printed for future things. I've, uh, you probably, if you, like I say, if you follow my video, videos or watch my um, look at my posts of pictures or follow the, just the channel in general you'll see a lot of the things I've been printing I've done a ton of buildings lately um, I've probably now built about 15 16 buildings all different uh, types and sizes um, so that you know we got that I built on boxcars Lots of bridges for trains and scale and HO. And I've done about five boxcars for trains. Um, I got a few things over here still sitting there. Um, that you can see there, there's uh, some, there's one of the end scale bridges I did with, with, it's got the piers and everything. There's a little end scale building I built. That thing's awesome. Absolutely just cool. And then of course I've done the ships. This is the second one that I did. The other one I have is much further along than this. Um, that one there is a little more of a plain Janer. I and that is going to probably be given to a friend of mine. So it's not going to get ultra detailed. It's probably just going to go sit on a shelf somewhere in his garage. So I'm not going to put a whole ton into that one. So. And then, of course, the buildings. There's some of the buildings that I've got done. I'm going to zoom back out here. There we go. So, and of course, that big one in the middle, that's just a, uh, a DPM hotel kit. So, that I built and painted and did all that stuff. And then the other buildings, all the gray ones, and then that other little kind of cement gray one in the middle there. That one is the one I just finished. Just kind of messing around with different options on these little things. I've got so many of those things made so and i'll be probably uh, listing some of those for sale just they're they're relatively cheap but they're nice filler buildings so if you were to watch my, one of my last videos you would see that so anyways getting back to this little deal this is, was a heck of a project I'm, i took on i decided i want to make a f7 i always wanted a large one i I know they make a G-scale one, and I have a G-scale. Uh, I started making one up there. If you look way back over there, there's a G-scale front, and then over there's an O-scale front, way over there sitting on the shelf over there. I was just kind of messing around. I use those actually as my dummies. They were just not really meant to be the, printed the whole thing. But when I printed that G-scale, I thought, that's really neat. But next to my semi, it was probably only just a little tiny bit taller. And when I went online and looked up the specs for one of these EMD F7s, they gave me the size, so I just brought it down to 125th scale. And they're quite large. It's This thing's uh, just a fuzz over 24 inches long. And uh, actually that truck and trailer you see back there, it, that's 125th scale with a 40-foot through hop and a Transtar 2 uh, uh, tractor. So that unit there, this thing is almost as long as that whole combination. So it's pretty true to scale. And now I don't have the trucks on it yet. I still have to print those. The front bumper is resting on the bottom. There's only about a, I'd say not even an eighth inch gap. And it's gonna be sitting up yet even a little higher than that. 
So you can definitely see how much bigger it is than the uh, uh, one, the scale uh, se semi truck. Oops, excuse me. So and then of course I just threw the little brother uh, HO F7 back there. I just threw that little Atherton in there just so it's some kind of a size comparison. I'll get the coffee out of here. And then right now I'm printing the air horns for this thing. So I, I'm going to be slowly printing more and more parts for it. I still got to do the windows, this, all the side uh, markings, all the ladders on the sides. I got to do the center tanks, the, uh, the wraparound on the side where the body comes down uh, by the uh, fuel tanks. And then I got the rear, I got the uh, step and the uh, rear ga uh, door gasket, stuff like that. Um, just to note, this is not, I, this is not something I designed. I found the plans online. Um, I don't know who made this thing. I can't even, I don't know, even know where, when I found it, if it even said. But it, it's quite nice, but it was, it was designed as, I believe, uh, O scale or S scale or something like that. And I had to, I just enlarged the thing, but it took a little more than just that because when I enlarged it, some of the features became way more prominent. Um, and so I had to cut some of the stuff down. So, but uh, this one is very nice, except the front nose on it. I'm gonna reprint this. Uh, I had to order some more filament. Believe it or not, this whole locomotive with all my um, practice little pieces took a whole roll and that's why now you see me using the gray otherwise I probably would have done the whole thing using this pale yellow and uh, I you know I like I say when I ran out I just had to grab any some stuff just to finish up what I'm doing but it's gonna be painted anyway so it doesn't really matter in time so but uh, and by the way the the road I'm probably gonna end up doing on this thing it's probably gonna be Union Pacific or Chicago Northwestern it's probably because that's kind of what I really like the most so but uh, that's kind of where, where I'm at with this little project uh, I've been posting a few pictures here and there of different things about it but now um, you'll start seeing a lot more this thing has got a long ways to go I don't know how soon it'll ever get painted I just it's gonna take me a while just to put the thing together once I get all the parts printed and it, I, it's got to be put together strong uh, I'm going to have to use special glues. The body is done in four chunks to get it that big. My printer prints to about, um, oh gosh, if I, if I remember right, I think it's uh, uh, just under 10, like 9.875. 9 and so I, I broke this thing into one chunk's nine, one's uh, a little over eight, and then the other two front chunks are, uh, I, well, they just, enough to get all, just about to 24 inches. I don't remember the exact size I cut these things. So it's uh, it, it took a lot of, lot of doing to get this thing to work. And then everything that's curved when you enlarge things, they sometimes don't curve right, like just the front bumper. I had to make the front bumper three times to get it to exactly to fit the uh, curve the way I wanted it to. And then I got to print a little a belt that goes all the way around the bottom there and the, the thing for the boards uh, number boards and all that kind of stuff the glass you know all that stuff I'll make and over time and things like that but this is probably going to stay this way for a while because I still got other projects I'm working on as well so but I just thought you guys would like to see it it's pretty neat it's kind of a neat little thing Right now, just so you know, this is literally all mocked up. It is just a big mock-up, and it's uh, sitting on a big hunk of foam. It's wedged in there, so I can actually pick it up. But some of the pieces, like the roof vents, they're just sitting on there. The side vents are kind of just pressed in there. They're just snug enough where they'll stay, but if I smacked it, they'd fall off. And, of course, the bumper is just sitting. It's just placed in there. So it, it will be a little higher than that once it's actually sitting on track. Um, so next to that semi, it's quite large. And that's why I feel it's pretty true to scale. It's about, um, uh, gosh, I want to say it's about four and, four and five eighths 
uh, wide. No, four no four point eight inches wide, and then it's uh, just a hair over twenty four inches. It's like twenty four and an eighth inches long. So, and then the height is it's supposed to be about seven and a half inches, seven and three eighths, something like that. So that makes it one twenty fifth scale. So it's pretty unique. And it will just be a shelf display unit only, not powered. But it's it'll look kind of neat. It'll be a conversation piece. People will come over and kind of wonder what the heck you do with something that big. I've got a G scale uh, GP30 that I set next to this uh, this morning, and I did not realize how big this thing is compared to that. Um, it's it's uh, a couple inches longer and about a I'd say about three quarters of an inch taller. It's, so it's, it's a, and wider, it's about a three-eighths of an inch wider as well, so. But uh, yeah, it's a, she's, a big, she's a, a big locomotive. So anyways, uh, just wanted you guys to see what the old 3D printer's been up to lately. And uh, you can kind of see there's a lot of things you can do with these things. But I'm also going to mention it's not without uh, a lot of frustration. I've, I've had to deal with a lot of issues. And it's not stuff wrong with the printer. It's my lack of knowledge of learning how to use the printer and make it work for certain things. So anyways, well, that's all I got. Send me comments if you want to uh, uh, ask me some questions or just send a general comment about it. Um, it it's kind of a, like I say, it's a unique thing. I don't see a lot of, as a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever saw one of these online yet. So check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.